What's up, my name's Technoburg here for Troubleshoot. In this video, we'll be tackling a common error that you get while joining players' parties on Call of Duty Warzone, or simply Call of Duty Multiplayer, on your PC or console. Now, of course, this can happen to basically anyone at any time, and it's been happening, in fact, since the game's release in March 2020. So, of course, that means that it's usually not something to do with the actual game developer itself or the game itself, but more than likely you and your setup. So, by the end of this video, hopefully you should have the issue fixed. Otherwise, if nothing in this video helps and you find a solution elsewhere, make sure to leave a comment down below to help other people. But anyways, let's get right into it. Now, of course, whether you're on PC, console, or anything like that, the first thing that you should do is try and restart your computer or console completely. After a full reboot, you can try and see if the issue is fixed. Otherwise, if you'd like to try on top of that, something that you should do is restart every router, including the router that connects you to the internet. So if you're connected to a router, connected to another router, connected to a fiber box, make sure to restart every single item along the way. By doing this, everything should be cleaned out and working properly. Hopefully, at this point, after a simple route to restart, you should be able to play the game as you'd expect. Otherwise, if you're still having issues, you can of course go ahead and verify your game's files, whether you're on console or PC. On PC, simply open up the Blizzard launcher, select Call of Duty Warzone, click the options drop down, and then simply click scan and repair. While this is happening, I would highly recommend you go ahead and port forward the game, as by doing this, you'll make sure that you have an open NAT rather than a moderate or strict, meaning that you can join more lobbies easier with fewer issues. And possible issues that you could have, including this error, can be avoided usually. Having an open NAT means that you have the best possible connection on your current internet connection to the Call of Duty servers and whoever else's lobbies you may be joining and playing on. After following through with those very simple steps, things should be working properly. Of course, if you're on PC, you can try running the game as administrator, which may help with a couple of things. To do this, simply either locate the desktop icon, you can create one by clicking Warzone, Options, and then create Desktop Shortcut. Then simply right-click it and click Run as Administrator. Otherwise, you can click Options from the drop-down after you have Warzone selected, and then select Show in Explorer. Then open up the Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder, scroll down, locate Modern Warfare Launcher, right-click, and then simply click Run as Administrator. By doing this, you should make sure that it's nothing interacting with it on your PC, even though it is more than likely a network issue. Now, of course, if for some reason you're still getting issues, if you're using a wireless connection, try using a wired connection to your closest router to see if this issue fixes itself. Otherwise, if you've tried port forwarding and nothing is still working, make sure that you assign yourself a static IP rather than a dynamic IP, as if you've port forwarded to your computer or console, your local IP address will change every time your device restarts, meaning that you'll have to port forward again. And also by giving it a static IP address, you can force it to use specific DNS servers, even though it shouldn't really have an effect here. By giving your device a static IP, it should just make sure that your NAT type stays open if you've port forwarded correctly. If you'd like a port forwarding guide, make sure to check the description down below as there's a guide linked there. That's just to keep this video nice and short. If you're on PC, you can get to your network connection settings by simply clicking the Ethernet or wireless icon down here, clicking the actual network itself, and then this window will open up. Click the network once again, scroll down until you see IP settings, and right below it you'll see properties. We'll be entering a lot of these same details in the edit button over here. For me, my IPv4 is 192.168.1.20. I'd simply click edit, change it from automatic to manual, enable IPv4, and my IP address would match here. 192.168.1.20. Then subnet prefix length is usually 24. Gateway is whatever the number is here, under DNS servers usually. Normally, the IP address of your router, so 192.168.1.1. Preferred DNS can be Cloudflare's, which is 1.1.1.1, or Google's 8.8.8.8, .8 or a combination of the both. I like to go 1.1.1.1 and alternate 8.8.8.8. After clicking Save, your network settings will be changed and you'll have a static IP address meaning that whenever you restart the router or your device, your device will always be port forwarded if you've gone ahead and done that. But by doing that, you should make sure that everything's working properly and you'll be able to play the game as usual. Hypothetically, you're still for some reason having issues, you can try disable your firewall or antivirus's firewall as that may be interacting with the game and stopping you from playing as expected. But of course, that's a bit more extreme. Usually a simple restart of your console or PC and router is more than enough to fix the simple error. But anyways, 
That's about it for this simple video. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you find a solution that was different to anyone that I covered here in this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.